So before we begin, I will be changing my username to Danny Bob. Danny Bob is my username everywhere else but this site, and Stark 2K7 is kind of cringy. So for this series, I will be rewatching my old Zootaku 2 videos and I'm providing some commentary as I go along, talking about some of my ideas and my inspirations as I made them, as well as some unused content and behind the scenes features. So, a quick catch up before we begin. The last time I uploaded a Zutakun 2 video was nine years ago, which was the Dawning End Part 2. Since then, I've been pretty busy with personal stuff. I went to college and university to study game design, completed a master's research in video game education, which is what the um, Triassic World game was all about, and now I work at Rockstar Games as a 3D artist. Um, I kind of owe all of these accomplishments to Zutakun 2. The My Machinima series, as they inspired me to pursue a career into video games in the first place. Every now and then, I'll get a comment on my videos from people talking about how my machinimas have inspired their own career aspects, and I kind of think it's just amazing how some silly videos I made as a kid years ago have had such an impact on myself and other people's lives. And I just, I just think it's, you know, it's just, it's just amazing, isn't it? Really. Um, okay, so let's begin. So before we jump into the Machinima series, uh, I'm going to take us back to the beginning where everything first started. Um, this hippo is what started it all, from this hippo skin to Rockstar Games. Um, I think I first got interested in this in when whenever... Um, Marine Mania came out. Um, I saw people making their own skins and some of their own animals for Zoo Tycoon 2, and I was like, I want to do this. And so I learned how to create my own skins. And the first skin I created was this hippo. It's basically just the base hippo skin taken into Paint Shop Pro and flooded grey. Um, that was it. And that was basically what got me into everything. So from there on, I started making more, um, making more skins, making more animals. I did manage to dig up quite a few screenshots online of some of my old work, and thought we could go through those first before we get to the machinimas. Um, I think one of the first things I decided to do was like a, a Great Barrier Reef pack, and. This was the first thing that went into it, um, a blue starfish. It's, it literally is just a blue starfish. Um, <laughs> oh, it looks so good. <laughs> uh, a stingray of sorts, was it a cow, cow head stingray, I think it was called. It's probably a cow nose ray. I don't know where I got the skin from. I can't see any patterns. Um, but there you go. A, a blue swimmer crab, this one was, I, if I remember correctly. I tried to make a bit more of an effort with my detail there. Um, let's see how close I was. Blue swimmer crab. Um, I guess I wasn't far off. <laughs> I mean, I was, like, I was like 14, 13 maybe when I made these, so... It looks something like it'll do for what it is, won't it? It it looks alright, I guess. What we got next? Oh yes, Brock's rule. So obviously this was when we lost Steve Irwin. And I decided to make a small memorial for him, I suppose. It's just a little shrine, I guess. Brock's rule. Steve Irwin. Uh, and I, I made a stingray to go with this, actually. Yeah. Um, texture is getting a bit better. You can clearly see that I use plastic wrap and Photoshop on this. There you go, the Great Barrier Reef pack. So, um, came with a bunch of new sharks and some new corals. Fish. Could look okay, I suppose. Turtles. I made a turtle pack. The I think the hawksbill turtle doesn't look too bad actually. 
fit it in. Um, the only really turtles look shocking. They look okay. Problem with a lot of these is there's like no detail in the textures. A lot of them are just flat colors. I think the next one, yep, this is where I uh, learned how to use filters in Photoshop. So I've got some like, I think it's like a green fiber texture or something just plastered over the skin. Thought it looked good. Thought it looked good. By the look of it, I'm also using a dirt brush there as well. Let's try and get the pattern. So I'm using other brushes other than a circle. More practice. <laughs> I think this was one of my first proper attempts at modeling. Um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the Tapajara from Walking with Dinosaurs. I don't think you spell it right. Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's supposed to be this thing. Yeah, it's got the same colors. It's supposed to be the type of jar from Walking with Dinosaurs. This was actually just the uh, an ambient creature that flies over the map, like the ducks and the seagulls. Ooh, my dugongs. People liked these when I first released these, actually. And uh, this is when I first started using variants for different textures. So I got created three, so there's a gray base, the green variant, and then a pink variant. Pink dugongs are a real thing, um, for those people that may not believe it. There you go, pink dugongs. I mean, kind of pink. I might have gone a bit overboard with my pink, but... Maybe a bit too overboard with my pink, but it's pink regardless, so it doesn't matter. Dinosaurs. This is definitely when Extinct Animals first came out. Um, I can't remember if I started doing my mission enemy before or after Extinct Animals. Uh, I know for a fact Oslin Swamp was after, because it had dinosaurs in it. I remember making a pink dinosaur. Um. Anyway, I, th I think this is supposed to be the walking with dinosaurs. Show me a saw. Looks like it. Aliens. Yeah, this is was when I was uh, fully into making monsters in Zutaikun. Now, I made myself some alien eggs, a xenomorph floor, and some <laughs> some sausages. <laughs> Oh, those are some beautiful chest bursters. I'm pretty sure, I think I released these. Oh, the Xenomorph Queen. I don't remember releasing the Xenomorph Queen. Maybe I did. Um, it was a long time ago. It doesn't look that bad, to be fair. To say I uh, made it off of a T-Rex. Quite happy with that one. Japanese spider crabs. My texturing work and modeling work has come a long way. We compare that to my blue swimmer crab from the start. That's the starfish. Significant improvement. Kind of looks sad. Hmm. Anyway. Oh yes, the Halo 3 battle rifle. So this actually replaced the tranquilizer gun in the dinosaur expansion pack. Um, I don't think it had sounds. I'm not actually sure. I do actually have this file somewhere, so I could probably download that and test it out. Yeah, this is the same thing again, the Hill 3 bar rifle. Um, necromorphs. I remember when I made this as well. And I was very into creating creatures and monsters. Um, so I basically just made the Necromorphs from Dead Space in Zoo Tycoon 2. And this is a... The, and, and these are the um, zombies from the Farm of the Dead. That I never actually finished and released. They were going to be in part 4. Uh, but unfortunately I stopped making the series. But I'll have, have some footage of these in game later that we can look at. When we get to Farm of the Dead, that is. 
Okay, so uh, I guess we can move on to our cinema videos now. Um, have a look. I do have some other screenshots, but we're going to look at those later. Let's start with the cryptid series. Now, before we begin, I thought it would be cool to look at what the very first Bigfoot actually looked like. This is the, <laughs> this is Bigfoot. Um, so a lot of people were trying to make Bigfoot back then, and people were mainly trying to create a gorilla, uh, walking upright, or people would reskin the, uh, I think it was a Gigantopithic, Gigantopithicus. That's how you say the name, uh, and just turn that brown and make that a Bigfoot. And I wanted to try and do something different, so I had the idea of turning a zookeeper or a, a guest to Bigfoot instead. So the first thing I did was take all the coding out of the Bigfoot, uh, the, the, well, out of the zookeeper that makes it act like a zookeeper. So all these creatures did was just basically walk around aimlessly. And then I just textured the whole body with a really bad hair quality brush. It's too hard to even see. And obviously they still had the zookeeper head at this time. Then there we go. And then I decided I I textured the face as well. It looks shocking. Um but then this is the Bigfoot I had. So this Bigfoot was the actual reason why I decided to start making Zoo Tycoon 2 Machinimas in the first place. I kind of just wanted to show off the fact that I had a Bigfoot and nobody else did. And mine was a bipedal Bigfoot where everybody else just had reskinned gorillas. So I decided to make the Hunt for Bigfoot video series just to show that off. Um, and I didn't expect so many people to actually enjoy the video. And seeing as though so many people did enjoy it, I decided to make more following with the search for the Yeti. That was later on experimenting with bipedal gorillas and such. There's Ogopogo. Nice. I didn't actually like the Ogopogo Machinima series. I think it was the weakest one. Um, more experimentation. I think this is supposed to be the Skunk Ape. And it's just a, I don't know what primate it is, an orangutan maybe? I can't even tell. There you go. Um, but I do have some other we got in here actually. I think, okay. So this is the Bigfoot map. I'm not sure which map this one is. It might be... Episode 3 or 4? It's the one where the Bigfoot is at the river, and this is where I am standing, and the Bigfoot comes behind, and then it like turns around, sees the Bigfoot, and then runs. Um, that's that's where that part is. So I think, I think that's episode 3. Uh, I think we'll find out when we get to it. Um, the other map is for the Yeti. I'm not up to that one yet. Uh, and here's the Bigfoot's genders. So this is the uh, newest, well, the finished versions of the Bigfoot. Um, I did actually make a male and a female. So the male was obviously dark black and the female was a light brown. I At this moment, I can't remember if I used these ones in the videos or it was the old one that you saw earlier. I think it was the old one because I pretty much made my video straight away as soon as I made the Bigfoot to show it off because I was that excited. Um, but yeah, so there were two, there was a female and male version of Bigfoot. Don't know how many people knew that. So okay then. Oh, uh, here's a skunk ape because I never, I was going to do a video about the skunk ape and then think Instead of doing Skunk Ape, I decided to do the Osling Swamp um, because obviously it was set in the swamp and it was in Florida. Um, and the Skunk Ape video became Osling Swamp. And then I decided not to do a Skunk Ape because I didn't want to do another Bigfoot slash Yeti one after already doing two. I thought it'd be a bit boring and I was already kind of bored of the Ogopogo. 
Um, so it never happened. Anyway, so that is it for this video. Um, this kind of went on a bit longer than I expected it to. So we'll go straight into hunting for Bigfoot in the next video. Um, and then we'll go through and watch that. I'm going to be watching my videos straight from YouTube. So the quality of the videos isn't exactly going to be spectacular. It's just going to be what they are on YouTube now. Um, fortunately, I don't have any higher quality renders of them. So we'll, it's just going to have to do, really. Uh, and then I can go through some more of the screenshots when we get into the other stuff. Um, I'm going to go through all the cryptids first. Um, including the Jersey Devil. And then I'll go on to Farm of the Dead. Because there's only three episodes of Farm of the Dead. But I've also got a bunch of uh, stuff to show for the Farm of the Dead. Uh, that none of you have seen before. And then after Farm of the Dead, I'll go on to the Rykov series. Because that's where the meat of the Machinima is. Um, I have some unreleased stuff in there. I've also got some unfinished stuff. Um, including a picture of a moon base and maybe some other stuff that was actually for a dawning end but we'll get to that when we get to that um, I don't know when the next one will be uh, this one took longer than I wanted anyway but I am pretty busy most of the time so I guess it'll just get released when I get time really um, I mean I'm working on other stuff as well uh, I'm also making the Jurassic Park game that you saw. That's just a fun little project. We'll be more info on that later. Yeah, that's it for this video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah.